Hey there, Scott here. Welcome to episode 9 and I am building a canoe. This video will cover milling up the ash hardwood for the gunnels, both inside and out, and the poplar that I used for the deck plates. We'll get that stuff installed on the boat and even plug up all the screw holes. So stay tuned. I hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, throw some comments in there and hit the notification so you know when the next video will drop as we start to add the seats and the yoke and get close to adding the final touches on this thing. So, hope you enjoy. I started with a 12 foot long piece of ash and ran that through a planer a few times, getting it down to the desired thickness for the gunnels. I moved on to the joiner to get a nice straight edge for all the cuts to come. This was a little difficult on a 12 foot piece. Then on the table saw, I cut the widths I needed for the inner and outer gunnels, and then also ran a rabbit on the pieces for the inner gunnel so to overlap the cedar and hide that on the finished product. Once the milling was complete, I moved on to fitting the pieces. I started with a long section in the middle and then added two outer pieces with a scarf joint. Slowly working down at the ends to get each one to overlap and fit nice and snug. Once one side was done, I matched up the other side, trying to get a nice even joint, just hand planing a little bit at a time. Once all the dry fitting was done, it was now time to make these permanent additions onto the hull. So using some more of the total boat epoxy, I applied some to the hull and then some on the inside of the gunnels and started clamping those on. As you can see here, I worked from both ends since I already had that dry fit done and then added the centerpiece. That made for easy alignment. then repeated the process on the other side as well. While the epoxy was drying, I set the plug cutter up on the drill press and made a bunch of plugs for all the holes. And then put a round over on the outside edge of the outer gunnel to be applied at the next step. So then the last step to prep the outer gunnels was countersinking the holes for those plugs later. These will hide the Power Pro screws that I'm using. And I also did it pilot holes so we don't crack any of this ash. Once the epoxy was good and cured on the inner gunnels, I could remove the clamps and now add the outer gunnels. The 
same process as before using total boat epoxy, applying some to the hull and some to the back of the gunnel. Then I just started in the middle, pilot drilled through the inner gunnel and added the screws, working my way to one side and then down back the other. A lesson I learned from doing the inner gunnel is to wipe off any excess epoxy before it runs down and hardens. Now I have some extra sanding to do later. Once the center section was done, I repeated the process again for each of the end pieces. One thing I did here was offset the inner and outer gunnel where the joints are for added strength. With the trim going on, it feels like the canoe is getting really close to done. There's definitely still have to add seats, the yoke, and then lots of coats of varnish and some sanding. But the contrast in this ash with that cedar looks amazing. Final step was to add a little bit of epoxy in each hole and then put in the plugs with a little tap from the hammer. I'll come back once these are dry and cut them off with the flush cut saw. Then sand nice and smooth. With the gunnels on and drying, I moved on to prepping this rainbow poplar for the deck plates. Cut pieces a little wider and a little longer than I needed and then started scribing those in. A little fine tuning with a hand plane and these fit these slots pretty good. It adds a nice contrasting color and grain pattern to that light colored ash. With the dry fits complete, I can now add the total boat epoxy. I coated the bottom and the sides just to make sure it was all sealed up nice and tight and then put some on the inner gunnels to hold it in place. Then added some screws from the outer edge and plugged those holes as well. If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell for new video notifications, like, comment, and share. There's also a link below to any tools or products used during this video.